Gang, let's talk about that live stream, baby. We're doing it live. January 1st, live from Toady, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be a good, good time. Come hang out with us. We're going to have some friends over. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a little appearance from Denise and Patty. Hot Couple of pops. Come hang with the boys. Yeah, it's going to be a good time, baby. Link is in the description, moment.co slash AYG. And that ain't it. We got our third show on sale what? right now at the Gramercy Theater, Let's baby. Let's go. The Army of Garbage came correct in New York City. Sold out two shows. We added our third. Link's in the description. Let's party, baby. Yeah. Friday, February 3rd. We'll see you there. See you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Were you ever big into Auto Trader magazine? Nope. Ever ruined a family vacation or gathering? Yep. <laughs> I mean, probably this week if I had to a get A couple it. times. A couple. A couple. Of a, a fair amount of times, like straight, like everyone left too drunk, or you said something. Uh, a number of times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you showed us a toothbrush, all right? Give the guy some. Well, yeah. What more do you space. want? Um, do you cut your burger in half when you eat it? A hundred percent. Gentlemen, really? hundred wow. percent. Will you take the steak knife from a nice steakhouse? No. When was the last time you stole a pint glass from a bar? Probably pretty recently. Yeah, I could. Yeah. Well, yeah, but just because I, I make Irish exits, Irish goodbyes. So, well, you I, sneak the beer out so you can have uh, it on the walk. I don't sneak it. I just walk it. Yeah, you kind of got that cachet now. Yeah, yeah. I'm and the left- machine. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? It's me. I got struck by lightning. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> In the last 365 days, have you shit in your pants? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? That is the, puts, huh? That's their private fucking, lounge over Jesus. here, hey, boys? I shit in they the bed. They give you all the pants you need. <laughs> um, all right. Hmm. Anyone in your family play semi-pro football? No. Okay. You ever wore pants that zip into shorts? Yeah. <laughs> That's a very Florida yeah, thing. I yeah, yeah. Gotta be ready to party. Do you but keep... they only zip once, and then you never go back to bed. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, well, it looks like I have shorts now. I lost that leg. <laughs> Yeah, that's what nobody thinks about. You gotta walk around with half a set of pants in your pockets. <laughs> Where are you gonna put your toothbrush? What are we doing? Um, <sighs> magazines in the bathroom? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Have you ever had a quail egg? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you like yeah, them? Yeah, I love them. I just had fucking, what, 15 the other day. 15? Yeah, I had a full fucking jar. It's a big omelet. Yeah, I've had a, a large amount of quail eggs. I wow. love, I actually love quail eggs. A 15 quail what egg. What is How many come in a jar? We got a jar of quail eggs. I ate all of them. I ate them in the fucking car ride over. I couldn't stop eating them. I love quail eggs. Wait, they were hard boiled? Yeah. Oh, my hard boiled. God. I've had I've had I've had every type of quail egg you can have. <laughs> now that you say that, I I really enjoyed I enjoyed duck eggs. I love eggs. I love eggs. Big egg guy. I like eggs too. I like eggs. What do you do if you crack an egg and there's like the double yolk? Oh, I jack off. Yeah, it's good, right? I jack off. That's good. That's I a take, good time. I take pictures of it. Mm-hmm. I take pictures of it. I post it on Instagram. I send it to Rogan. Look what my fucking look at my chickens are doing. Yeah, yeah. It's a good time. Root beer, or birch beer. Root beer. Hmm. You didn't. You could have said anything after that. And I knew my <laughs> really? Do you have a specific brand that you like? No, I. A and W Barks. A uh, and W is my what we have on the bus. I love A and W. Uh huh. Uh, but I love. Going and finding sm- like of course, any- of course. Oh, someone's- if you're from you got Philly roots, check out Hanks. Hanks oh, I've had Hanks. Hanks. I've had Hanks. Right. I've had Hanks. Right. I'll tell you right now, in a, in a parallel universe, I am brewing root beer in Northern Washington <laughs> with a beautiful blonde Swedish wife, six kids, and a and, shitload of quail eggs, and fucking and a lot of St. Bernards. <laughs> oh, that's a good time. Uh, you got the tour bus now. Is there is there an essential item for the tour bus that really ups the quality of life for you? Uh, yeah, a water pick. I couldn't get really? into it. I tried it. I couldn't I get into it. I like it. I water pick probably twice a day. Mm-hmm. I love water pick. I tried. Picking. I bought one. Everybody was raving. I got one. I, I just didn't stick. You floss every day? I floss every day. You do? Yeah. You do old school floss or the picks? Picks. They're picks. great. The glides. I'll, I'll, and let me tell you something. They're fantastic. If I find a pick, I know it's mine. I'll use it again. Wow. Whoa. Do you smell them? Always. Oh, you got to smell them. Hit me, fingers, baby. Fingers on the, on the floss. Run Rip them down. down and then... To the nose. I told him that. He was, mine was blown. You got to smell oh. it. I've been doing it ever since. It's some of the ripest <laughs> shit you've ever had in your life. Dude, I have a hole in one of my molars. Ugh. That's why I'm water picking so much lately. And I, in the morning, I will, I will water pick that hole. And 
the smell that comes out is so aggressive. Yeah. Uh, what's what like are they, What's going on in fat. there? It's wild. I, it's like bacteria. Here, I'll show it to you. Take a look. Where? Oh, right there. Yeah. And uh, it's nice. good looking tongue, though. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like he was chewing firecrackers. In there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have. Oh, I should tell you this. I got hit in the mouth with a baseball bat when I was 11, and I lost 26 teeth. So what are you, all a the shark? teeth, all the teeth you see. <laughs> Who has that many teeth in 11? We, you have 32. You have 32. Uh, well, I'm an asshole. That's like the seven ten split. <laughs> Jesus Christ! But you never count on your teeth. I've, no, I've never counted my teeth. How many teeth did you wait? That would have been a great question. How many teeth do you think do you, you have? Think you have? Hundred, hundred and fifteen. I don't know. Two, two twenty. <laughs> Whatever it takes. You know what I mean? What movie is that from? What, two, 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 uh, Mr. 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 Mom. Mr. Yeah, Mom. Yeah, Michael Mr. Keaton. Mom. Oh, what are you working on? Some electrical work? Yeah, what are you doing? Two, two, one, two, two, twenty, whatever it takes. Yeah. Why don't you come out in here, Ron? <laughs> sure, you're doing a little of my time off. Tebow, can I grab one Shout more? Shout out to I'll Mark take Mall. one more, too. That's fucking great. Yeah, yeah. Drinking beers uh, with the machine during yeah. the day. Let's fucking go. Yeah. This is it. This is what we play for. Uh, have you ever had one of those magic wallets? Where you can go like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh of course, God. of course. I've been saving that for a year. I knew he was going to say yes. Of course I did. If you're getting a baked potato, what are the toppings that you prefer on it? You're not going to like this. He's going to paint his masterpiece. Just butter. I'm all right with what that you, classic. Right in the middle. I will put one full stick of butter on a baked potato. I fucking oh. love butter. It's awesome. A big I, one from a steakhouse. You're, talk, you're talking fancy. to a huge butter man. I use I, it like icing. I'm telling you. It's I, unbelievable. Dude, I use it on it. Can I tell you, I dated a chick who put it on a Pop-Tart one time, Whoa. and it's a game changer. Someone I'll give was you just something. talking about that. I'll give you something. Get a honey bun. Put it in the microwave with the butter on top look for look like- at him, Look at him. For like <laughs> his burnt, eyes just rolled back in his head. Burnt for like 12 seconds. Enter Nirvana. Unbelievable. My daughter puts them on Oreos. Butter on Oreos? But wow. she put man, she has wow. a butter problem. I love, dude. I she love just, it. She just gave up veganism. So Isla, my youngest, was like, one day came down. She, I'm going vegan, and we're like, that's stupid. She's like, I'm going vegan. I have headaches. I don't, and I think it'll get rid of them. And so she was vegan for like six months, seven months, maybe as, since April, April, right? The other night she comes down. And she goes, I'm done. Let's get a pizza. I said, what? She goes, pizza, sausage, and onion. Whoa. And then we were like. Oh, okay, and then, then the next day she goes steak. I need a steak back on the horse. And then she, we went to In and Out last night for dinner. I mean, she is fucking back, and Love she that. wolfed nice. down that burger. Yeah, fucking mm. punching cows when she walks by <laughs> yeah. them. I like Pussy, it. don't look at me. <laughs> uh, Pop tarts or toaster strudel? Pop tarts. Oh wait, toast them strudels. <laughs> That's not what they're called. <laughs> I thought they were called toast for the record, folks. Toaster strudels. I thought it was toast them strudels. No. <laughs> Just so everybody knows. Is that knows. Toastum Strudels? <laughs> no, it's Toaster Strudels. Are you and sure? by the way, Bert, it is April, okay? Just, just wanted to let you know that. It's no, April? It's March. Oh, 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 so it was about a year ago. <laughs> Wait, to- is it Toastum Strudels? No, Toaster Strudels. Toaster Strudels. You're thinking of Steakums. Pills. <laughs> Which, how do you feel about Steakums? Uh, Come on, Daddy. 100%. Yeah. Good night. It's Toastum Strudels. No, it's not, dude. It's Toastum Strudels. Toaster Strudels. Strudels. Uh, Toastum Strudels. That's the Mandalorian effect you're talking about. <laughs> Right. Mandela effect. Mandela effect. Mandalorian effect. <laughs> I'm it's, surrounded by bozos. His right birds rubbing off on me. It's toaster. I got a bad, bird on me. We got a bad case of the Chrysler's. <laughs> it's called toaster strudels. Toaster yeah. strudels. Pillsbury uh, toaster fucking, strudels. All these years, I thought it was toaster. Oh, strudels. that's going viral. <laughs> toaster strudels, which they were awesome when we were kids, but yeah. I don't know about now. Now the pop tart has really, really come into its own. Yeah, they really know what they're doing. I'll tell you what. Hot or cold. I I'll tell you what. When especially when someone takes something that's industrial corporate and then makes it their own have you had homemade pop tarts no uh, how so do you do that i get them like oh. a lot of people will bake stuff for our show mm-hmm. like they'll bake us stuff we had a woman not trying to throw anyone under the bus we had a woman one time because i like i like cr- uncrustables yeah she made me un- an uncrustable donut her homemade wow. uncrustable donut wow. that was so good wow tim dylan woke up at six in the morning and got an uber to her place and bought some for himself before we left that morning. Damn. They were that fucking good. Shout out to Timmy yeah, D. Yeah, Timmy D knows what he's I doing like around that move. Snack. But I've had homemade Pop-Tarts, and they are wow. fucking phenomenal. I never even thought of that. If there was just a little more filling in them. That's yeah, my, they got to be juiced only up. Gripe. They got to be like the so, double so, stuffed. So homemade Pop-Tarts they probably are. are probably like yeah. this big, this, this, but they're this thick. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. And they about. fucking come in your mouth. That's what I'm talking about. Will you do a Fig Newton? A hundred percent. A sleeve of fig news. Yeah. 
You can't just. I don't do one cookie. Yeah, I'm not a one it. cookie guy. I'm a. I'm a. I'm not really want anything. Guy I'm gonna. Or... I'm a. I'm a. I'm gonna <laughs> suck down a regrettable amount of cookies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Favorite cookie? One cookie. What is it? Oreos. I have a problem with Oreos. Standard, straight up, regular? Double stuffed. Double stuffed, Double okay. Stuffed. You ever put them in milk and crunch them up and eat them like cereal? I'm sorry, I yeah. apologize. Yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. mean to insult a gentleman you from Tampa. You almost hit you. <laughs> Dude, I, I'll, take, I'll take Nutter Butters and leave them on the Ooh. counter for an evening so they get stale and they're soft. And it, with when it comes to Oreos, I soak them. I take the Got fork, it. shove it in the icing, and then I stick it in the fucking thing until it's fucking good. And, and then pull it out, still attached to the fork, and to the mouth. God, because the icing's hard and the cookie's soft. Yeah, I love right. Oreos. Yeah, it's something else. Hmm. This is a big one. Okay, this might determine a lot. Okay, all right, I'm gonna give you two choices: Hellman's mayonnaise or Miracle Whip. Oh, Hellman's, okay. without Ooh, a fucking doubt. I almost had you escorted from the premises. I, the other I made the big mistake in college of getting Miracle Whip, thinking it was mayonnaise. Oh. It and, ain't. And it, it stinks. And we, and I, I, because I, I like mayonnaise, sardines, and saltine crackers. Whoa. Mayonnaise, sardine, sardines, and saltine crackers. How are things in the twenties? Yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Isn't that what they ate in the Burbs? In that movie, The Weird Family? (laughs) That's Civil War shit right there. Jesus Christ. That's like Finland shit. Who does that? I loved it. Especially served on the Titanic, dude. It's so fucking good. This guy's old school. A saltine, a dab of mayonnaise with the with the sardine, and uh, and I and I picked up uh, Miracle Whip and I was trying to explain to a girl how good it was. And I used Miracle Whip instead, and all of a sudden I put it in my mouth. I was like, this isn't what yeah. it is. <laughs> Get it out. I got the wrong thing in my mouth. Mm. <laughs> this is peanut butter. Yeah. Miracle Whip stinks. I have to ask just because it's standard operating procedure. What's the credit score like? Um, I mean. Probably uh, fine. Like, yeah. A thousand? It's There's no be, way you have blemishes at this point. It's stellar. I yeah. don't know what it is. Uh-huh. It's got to be exemplary. Yeah. What kind of. What kind of sp- Again, no disrespect. To no, that. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know the score, but it's definitely it's, yeah, fine. admirable. Yeah, yeah. You have, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, what kind of steel are you walking around with? Amex? Uh, yeah. 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 I have, yeah. I have a couple. Is that the go to? I have one for touring, one for personal. One for business, obviously. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I have three because I have. One for personal purchases, one for related to podcast stuff. Of course. And one related nice. to touring. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. I got a debit card. Not I have, I have millions of points. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Millions. 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 You know what we have? I just looked this yeah. morning. What? 149,000. Yeah. Holy shit. It's about $4. We get a race card. <laughs> we maybe could. We maybe could, actually. Damn. That's jack shit when it comes to Amex points. I'm waiting for them to call me and be like, you have to use these. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. That's how trashy we are. I looked to see the equivalent I could get in American Express gift cards. Nice. <laughs> Christmas bonus is coming up. Here we hey. go. <laughs> Everybody wins. Do you have a Capital One card? <laughs> do you want one? <laughs> I get 500 bucks if I refund. I do. I get 500 if I sign up a friend. No. No. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Come we on. just we just started making money about Dude, six months ago. Dude, it's fucking congratulations! Isn't uh, it the best? It's, it's, it's yeah, a, well, yeah, it's fucking awesome. No, it's but a, it's it really, a foot off the neck for it, sure. It is, and it should be celebrated. I have a real oh. problem with people. Well, that's what that, I've always respected about you. You don't. A lot of people hide that they fly private. You're like, I'm flying. I, I'm doing it. I'm Buddy, doing it. We're blowing well, it as we make it, dude. We just, we just lost ten thousand dollars on a. On a, bet? on a bet. That was Atlantic one of the City. bets. Once we hit a certain number on Patreon, we'll just go down and blow it down. You'll make it tomorrow. <laughs> You'll you make it tomorrow. Guy. You're, you're he fine. He just made it during this fucking <laughs> Listen, you're fine. It should be celebrated. You know, you got to be smart with it, but you should have fun with it. And, um, do and it. by the way, I could not do this. The tour that I'm on mm-hmm. could not do it uh, flying commercial. Oh, no, of course. It'd be impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. It'd you be impossible. Have, your tour is... It's the stupidest of all time. Proper nuts. It's proper insane. I mean, I'm at over 200 shows. <laughs> Right now on the tour, and there's one year left on the tour. You can't do that waiting in the Delta Lounge like <laughs> yeah. a booze. Really, we would fucking. I think the whole tour crew would be dead. There's like fucking yeah, six of us. Yeah. They're all. They're like they're, right now. They go like we're all wiped, and I'm like, yeah. They go, you really need to take a break. I'm like, yeah. No, I'm going to do press. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah. We're, Kid's uh, a worker. We're boys with Potter. We're good friends with Potter, and we were talking. Oh, about, he's great. I love. Yeah, he's great. Um, and we were talking to him one time. He had just 
got back opening up for Speaking you. Speaking of classy in, gentlemen. Oh, yes. my God. The classiest. <laughs> He's the reason we asked the street name, yeah. because he grew up on, like, you know, Route 87 uh, Boulevard. Like a proper turnpike. He could, he could see a toll booth out front of his house. <laughs> he is one of my absolute favorites, Oh, man. dude. Yeah. Yeah. We were just with him. We were in Los Angeles. But we were asking him, him and he were like, we're like, oh, he's like, yeah, I was out with Tom. And he's like, I'm just such an idiot. He's like, I don't understand levels of success to the point where he was like, oh, what time's your flight? And you're like, I'm leaving after the fucking show. And he's like, <laughs> it didn't even comprehend. He's like, I thought he was just going to go to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best. He's great. Did you collect anything growing up? Chinese stars, nunchucks, anything like that? <laughs> Beanie babies, commemorative plates. For sure I had some of those. <laughs> dude, there was, yeah, Anybody there was, in the 80s, if dude, you were, you had I to. I mean, first of all, I was taking Taekwondo. Oh, God. And, <laughs> and was I there like, like a strip mall, like a Tiger Shulman's? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, and, oh, and here's oh. the thing. I was pretty highly ranked. <laughs> like... Where t- like in retrospect, I'm like they were just like, could you pay for another round? Yeah. And they're like, here's another. Belt. At Tiger Shulman really Your pulled dad the wool must have been looking at you like, I what remember, the fuck? I remember walking out of a class. Gotta get him from his ballet. And I was like eight or nine, and a, like a forty year old man was like, Jesus Christ, this kid could kill somebody. He's, a fucking, <laughs> <laughs> he's, a he's gonna belt. register his fuck. hands. Like, and I was just like, <laughs> I mean, I was a fucking sweet, gentle kid. I was you like, got a slurpee like, in your hand. <laughs> and then we started to get it because we're taking those classes. Yeah, we're getting into like nunchucks, Chinese stars, yeah, pretending sure. we're ninjas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about. <laughs> Give myself black eyes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's oh. fucking beautiful. Mm. When, you, when you first started making money, was there any like silly purchase? Yeah, like, you a dirt back bike or like, I didn't need the. Something fucking... stupid. <sighs> Jet ski. Sh- yeah, for, well, I have two. Uh, you have two now? Yeah. Are they at the house? Or? Yeah. We're on the, we live on the lake, so yeah. Oh, really? This like guy's on doing the, like you can walk out your backyard and go to a lake? I have a boat and yeah, on the backyard. Damn. Yeah. Cigarette boat? No. Be cool. No. You running Maybe. blow? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck has a cigarette boat in a lake? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fuck. That's, that's how little you know about boats. Damn, dude. Really? He's walked down to the lake. You got a pool back there too? Mm-hmm. Hot tub? Yeah. He said 200 cities, you idiot. <laughs> what the fuck? Who's doing 200 cities of a goddamn hot dog? What think. kind of lawnmower do you have now? <laughs> <laughs> That's a John Deere. Uh, it's a push mower, though. I want to stay home. Yeah. <laughs> it's a plug-in. Takes me about three days to do it. That's the trashiest of oh, lawnmowers. You have to plug in your lawnmower. Oh, the dumbest thing right away was a pen. A pen? Like, a, you know, I was like in a store. Here's the thing. Oh. You ever feel guilty? In store, like I was, I felt guilty to buy something. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, I need to use the bathroom, you know. And there was like a nice store, and then I was like, I'll buy something, <laughs> like. And I bought a pen. It was like hundred. It was like five hundred dollars. What? Yeah. And then I left, and I was like, naked fuck lady am on I it? doing it? No, it was like <laughs> turn it was upside it four down. Different colors. It's so <laughs> stupid. It was one of those real like a nice. I was like, this is. I, I would a, definitely yeah. not be mentioning that I bought this. That was one of those things. You're like, keep this to your fucking mm. self. You know? yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that was so dumb. <laughs> hey, we got an eight ball. I got a new pen. I got a pen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, was it a cross pen? Those yeah. were hot for a while. Those they were, were hot. Pens. Yeah, Woo. there was. Could never Cross. write with them. They'd slip out of your hand. Mont Blanc, Ooh, and then, Mont yeah, Blanc. then Cartier. Yeah, those are nice ones. Hmm. Are you uh, double jointed? Uh, no, I used to be able to take my index fingers and touch Ugh. my wrist here for a long time. And then it finally, like, I could go. That's circus you know, shit. Yeah, like, you're like an X-Men. <laughs> like, pretty far. But, like, it used to be able to touch here, and that stopped at some point. Can you gleek? No. And I wish I. F- it happens only on. Axe. By axe. Yeah, yeah. 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 I always tell you, we knew a kid that could do it and a continuous stream. That's amazing. Oh, dude. I don't st- understand how it happened. He's oh, dead now, but of it course was he's wild. Dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, st- we, we were in a car and we saw him on his on his school bus. We stopped the school bus and made him get off and do it. Does it gleek for you? Yeah. Dude, it was fucking legendary. Stop the bus. <laughs> yeah. We got a gleeker back there. Uh, have you ever skied in jeans? <laughs> Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah because in. Uh, that's one of those things. Is like you know those um, socioeconomic bumps, of course. That we now you're were, skiing. Well, we're in like Minneapolis, mm-hmm. so like you can go, but we're not buying you all new gear. Sure. Yeah. So yeah, for sure, it was a pair of jeans, everything, and a windbreaker. <laughs> when you're like a, a brick layer. you're a kid in that in a city like that, you're just out in jeans every day in mm-hmm. snow, mm-hmm. and like it's the worst, right? It's just there's so much snow. It's cold as fuck. Yeah, mm-hmm. it suck. And you're just yeah, you're in wet denim all the time. It fucking sucks. Yikes. Have you ever had one of those trick voicemails where you go, hello, what was that? Hello. Ha ha, got you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I okay. believe it or not, Tom yeah, is yeah. in at home. Okay. <laughs> 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 when you guys would go out to dinner as a family as a kid, would, would, would you ever order the same thing? 
Like everyone gets the lemon chicken or the chicken no, farm. It wasn't like that. Okay. You know what was the fucking worst? My dad used to go, um, like, I, he had like this like anxiety of like, let's get home. Like always. So my dad had a get back to fucking base camp. I, I mean, got it. Yeah. always. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody get get the whole fucking team. So home yeah. you're at a re- social like, anxiety. They, they yes. Just, they didn't understand it. That he didn't understand it. Yeah. So like we're all having dinner, right? And it's like it would be like if you guys. Who like, is that guy? Still, Why is he looking at me? You're still eating. Mm-hmm. Like you're eating, and he would take his bite, and he would go ready to go. And yeah. we're like we're all eating mm-hmm. right now, man. And he yeah. was like, oh okay. And then he would just be like. <laughs> And you're like, um. And then hey, you, Dad, get a sanker or something, yeah. will you? You finish your last bite. He's like, you ready now? And you're like, can we just yeah, fucking just let me chill for a like, minute? Relax. Go start the car. No. Yeah. no. Always got to go. Yeah. Um, Never. Will you take leftover leftovers home now? Like, if you go out to a restaurant, if you're not on tour, it's, it's you and it's you and your wife. The family go out. Very rarely, yeah. dude. I don't really. I don't it's like trashy. to. Yeah. I mean, it's it's more like I don't know. I just feel like. Whatever you ate is what you ate. That's there. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like yeah. I'm not taking this these yeah. last four bites of lemon chicken home. <laughs> yeah, you know right, what I mean? right, yeah, right. Yeah. All right, if we're doing the restaurant, <clears throat> let's get into let's it. get into it. Okay, um, I go I go large. I know. Yeah. Well, you order first of all. When is the situation where you're not paying, where 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 it's not your show? It's rare, I would assume. Agents probably taking you out. They'll pick it up Rogan, after a show in the city. What That's if it's true. you and Rogan out to dinner? Are you fighting over the check? I try Are you splitting it. No, okay. no. I try. I would kick you out of this room. I've if you tried. Try to split a fucking check. I've, I've tried to, and I've have um, given the card if I know I'm having dinner with Joe or somebody, you, ahead of time. I, uh, yeah. Last you here, Real put class. it on that. Yeah. That's the class. Make sure, yeah, make sure you put it on here. Yes, I, I did that this weekend down the shore. <laughs> That's a nice move. Got you know? the client. Yeah. So it's you also, don't have to get to that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of go to my mom. Yeah. I like, I like, you know, if you can afford to do it, it's nice to be able to treat people to. Yeah. Yeah. Also, so you don't have that weird, let me get it. Yeah, what, yeah, like, yeah. you just go, it's taken care of. And he's always paid for a fucking everything for years. Of course, of know? course. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. He does okay. Yeah, he does all right. That's good. Yeah. Um, order appetizers for the table for everybody. You like to do I the do share? That a lot. I do that a lot. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. I just, I, if I get, we get to, you know, we're on the road. So nice you, and, yeah, you and the crew goes out. We sit down. I'll be like, hey, can you bring out like three of bam, these? Bam, two bam, of these? Bam, bam. Like, yeah. Do you off. do that like, hey, get these? We're still, we're still figuring it out. Let's yep. start dropping Let's the start, fucking yeah. asparagus. Put some fucking yeah. food out here, man. Yeah, yeah, Have yeah. you ever ordered everything off the menu? Yes. Really? Damn. Give me, give me everything. I went. Uh, there was this uh, this French guy. Um, fuck. What is his name? He owns a uh, Trey. Uh, fuck. He's a. Uh, I, I might follow him on Instagram. And he would do these pop ups that were just fucking unbelievable. Okay, in, in Austin? No, in L.A. Um, and I'm trying to remember his name. Trey Griffith? No, no, no. I was saying Trey like French. Uh, oh, okay, his name is uh, Ludo. Uh, Ludo Lefebvre. I don't Ooh, know. Ooh, I was. I wasn't good. that bad. So he this owns uh, Petit Trois and Ludo à la Maison. Uh, so I think that's he has not, a, and he is dual lingual. That's pretty good so too. Has, I think he has a. He might have a Michelin star. Anyway, he would do these pop ups in L.A. for a while, meaning like you know just take over a space sure. for. And so the first time I went, I had a few things, and I was like, "Holy shit, this is so like so incredible!" Like mm-hmm. you know, like yeah, yeah, of course. So the next time he had a pop up and I got a table, I looked at the menu. I was like, "Yes," and they're like, "Yes." I go, "Yes." Mm-hmm. Everything, bring, yeah, it, bring yeah. everything. Run me through the fucking. Make me sick. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. Fucking talking yeah, that about. was the shit. We're just starting to eat at places where we're like, oh, that's. I we took. Well, there's this place where we had. There was like the best burger in the city. We all took a bite, and I was like, I didn't know rich people have been eating different. This oh, whole there's time. a yeah. difference. They really. It's there's really. A Here's difference. the. Let me tell you the best thing about money. The best thing about money. Mm-hmm. I'm listening. It is not toys. It is not stuff. Mm-hmm. It is options. Options to do things yes. that other people I don't can't have do, to do this, yeah. and to make life easier. Easier. It is That's the all best. I care. Like in other words, a, a simple version of it would be like, Get hey, bacon on your burger, <laughs> bacon on your burger, <laughs> or like to park here's twenty bucks. When you're struggling, you're like, I'm not going to waste twenty dollars. I'll drive, drive, I'll hours, drive yeah. over there. Yeah. Twenty bucks, park. The the more and more things come like that that have a. a option for you yeah right um and you can remove any anxiety i use it to like remove anxiety remove thought remove like yeah i can just put the, the car here and not have to worry about if i'm part. gonna get it we're kind of doing like, that now but we really can't afford it well <laughs> we're we're just, look this patreon's <laughs> fucking blowing up <laughs> you heard it here www <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, billion hours but, of content i heard but food is like the, one of the greatest luxuries oh it's, it's fantastic. being able to eat at a yeah, great yeah, place yeah. what would be the most if, if it sticks out that you ever spent on a meal uh 
I don't know if you want me to tell you. Oh, yeah, no, we do. I want, you want to write it down like a rich guy? Write sure. It down a piece. <laughs> yes! I'm, I'm going to read it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 100% going to read it out loud. Yeah. It wasn't long ago. Oh, yeah, then take that one. There you go. It's, this was a... Oh, this is a first. Finally, I got somebody a pretty elaborate it, okay. dinner I had, okay? Throw the credit card number down there, too. Just, uh, <laughs> just, just Maybe a Finsky if you got it on you. <laughs> also, how much cash do you have on you right now? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Let me count. <laughs> what the fuck? Let me say it. Yeah. <laughs> Give me it. How many people were there? It's just you. It was, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> it was a group. It was group. a group. Okay. Of us. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, okay. what city? Chicago. Can I say what the number is? I mean, do you think we should? We yeah, talk, what this are you is, talking this is what, about? Honestly, this is what people tune in for. All right. Sure. Yeah. yeah. $52,000. <laughs> it was my birthday. That's yeah. more than I made last year. <laughs> On the books. <laughs> no, yeah. That's your birthday, of course. Blow it the fuck out. Yeah, was, Is that with tip? That was with tip. Ooh. Oh, all right, with tip. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, what's 5% of 52000 <laughs> I figure with wine and tax, it's really yeah. only thirty-eight yeah. grand. <laughs> Holy shit. Kip, how about that butcher box? Baby. I mean, come on. It's cold outside. You know I love that butcher box. Heat. Well, what are we doing here, gang? Maybe you're a grill master. Maybe you fancy yourself as a good guy on the grill. Mm -hmm. But where are you getting your meat from? That's, that's the matters. big question. That's what matters. A, you know what makes a good steak? Who that? A good steak. Yeah. You know who has good steak? Who that? Butcher box. Uh-huh. Free range, grass fed, grass finished. Sure. Uh, wild caught, wild caught, the whole nine yards, man. If you're looking for good meat, you want to get yourself Butcher Box. Get that on the grill. Yeah, Butcher Box has a special offer for our listeners. Butcher Box is offering new members two free New York strips plus eight ounces of gold cracked lobster in your first box plus ten dollars off. Butcher Box, what are you doing? You're gonna go out of business. Surfing turf right there. Butcher, first night. Butcher Box's lobster is wild caught uh, by independent harvesters, of course, in the North Atlantic, and then pressure Ooh. extracted from the claws and knuckles so you get the most delicious sucking lobster you ever done. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm a, as, as we've said it time and time again. We're big fans of the butcher box over there at the Ryan House. Mm -hmm. I, I still got a whole freezer of it. I had some ground beef the other day. Mix it up. Couple of sweet potatoes. Some of the spices. The bird does it. I'll take some of them strips. Butcher Box is offering our listeners free New York strip and lobster plus $10 off in your first box. Sign up today at butcherbox.com slash AYG to get two 10 ounce New York strip steaks, 8 ounces of lobster claw, and knuckle meat. Knuckle meat, free baby. In, let's go. Free, in your first free knuckle meat? What are we doing? Plus $10 off your first box at butcherbox.com slash AYG for the knuckle meat. Go. Yeah. Gang, got a little reminder from our good friends at Manscaped. Uh huh. Keep those balls clean and tight. Yeah, we're on a tight ship down there. New Year's Eve's coming up. You don't want to get fucking caught in the bushes, if you know what I mean. Sure. Catch, catch your zipper. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Do yourself a favor, gang. Get over to the Manscaped. Grab one of them lawnmower 4.0s, one of their premium packages. Everything that they got is absolutely fantastic. I clean you up, smell good, smell great. Feel good, fuck like a champ. <laughs> Give your lady something to kiss at midnight. What the? <laughs> hey, Manscaped, clean it up. It's a family program. Ah, that's a good piece of business right there. <laughs> Guys, you get 20% off plus free shipping with the code garbage at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with code garbage at manscaped.com. I've been telling you for years now, they were one of the first sponsors of the pod. Yes, they were. Uh, well, uh, from, from, from forever ago. I got about two treaties at the house. I use it on my ball sack, my butthole, my face. I just used it, it a couple days ago. Cleaned up, trimmed up. Went to the car wash, as they say. <laughs> I ran you do it in the shower. I, that's all. That's the only place I do it. One more time, baby. That's twenty percent off plus free shipping with the code garbage at manscape. Got manscape.com. Do it. Yeah. Now back to that show. And we would love uh, the original grilled stuffed burrito at Taco Bell. The original, yeah. which had the creamy pepper jack sauce. <laughs> Remember the original? I've tweeted at them. I've the original letters. menu at Taco Bell was oh, fucking top shelf. Bring back the grilled stuffed burrito. And then the original Monterey Ranch chicken sandwich at Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> he's lighting up when he's talking about this. Bacon stuff. in the ranch. Oh. Chopped up bacon in the ranch. It was in a gold wrapper. Fuck you. You know exactly what I'm talking about. It was a... a That's what a, they tried to class Chicken up. patty, Monterey whatever thing, cheese, Monterey Jack. Monterey if, Jack, yeah. If it was that. Um, and Monterey Jack cheese, lettuce, tomato, bacon, and then ranch with bacon in it. It was... Yeah, geez. it was something else. 
Those were the things I remember growing up. Obviously, I loved McDonald's filet of fishes. I loved a Roy Rogers fixin' bar. Ooh, I loved a pizza they don't hut. Get enough love. A pizza hut lunch buffet. Oh, Hutton come school, on. Going a to one of them. Pizza hut lunch buffet. Saying all the right things. They were like three ninety five or something. It was, it was so like cheap. Four dollars and you could eat for the week. Mm-hmm. And then they had a dessert pizza, a little caramel apple dessert pizza. Yeah, worse. I mean, Christ. <laughs> what, what was the going out to dinner situation for the Dillons as a kid? What would be a well? Big so night? my uncle was a big restaurant guy. So every okay. now and then we'd get to go to one of his where restaurants you get it? in the city. Yeah, because so that's, 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 that's what's so interesting yeah. about you. You're from that, but you have I have some very really high end fine taste. You do. I have some high end taste because my uncle is a big restaurant guy. So we used to get to go. We used to get to go to restaurants and eat really nice food every now and then. Would it be known that it's we're going out with Uncle oh, so yeah. and so? And would the parents go or he would take you? The parents would you go. Would the parents go, okay. would, we'd all go. The family. Sure, sure, the whole sure. Family. But everybody knew he was paying. Oh, yeah. Everyone knew that they didn't have to pay. <laughs> That's why they were going. Everybody knew. <laughs> but then, so a big night out for us would be like, you know, maybe my parents hated each other. So it was rare that they'd both go out. But when they both go out, it would be to some local diner uh, or a place called Itkins in Valley Stream, which was like an old, you know, like an old like malt shop, an old ice cream parlor, sure. great ice cream. Sock it to me Sunday, 15 scoops. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. A lot of people would eat it. Yeah. Oh, oh you're yeah. sharing a the fun. table. Every, everything but, but the kitchen sink Sunday. <laughs> yeah. It would be 15 scoops. Um, a little bacon ranch on there. Yeah. <laughs> it was wild. They would go to, usually it would be a diner. Okay. Or a, maybe a little Greek place or a diner or a place called McQuaid's. Ooh. Like a birthday dinner, like a, a graduation bar. dinner. Uh, what are we thinking? Maybe an Italian spot. Okay. We big Any on the chains? B- Applebee's, Olive Oil. Fridays. Any- Ooh. So we grew up Fridays. with Fridays. Uh, for- and Outback a little towards the Outback Ooh. came in later. Sure. Fridays was, was a go-to. There. The Tostado Nachos, where you split a taco shell down the middle, hit it with refried the cheese. Um, that sandwich. Fridays, right. when, they, when they brought out the Jack Daniels pulled pork sandwich, it changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah, I get it. The Jack Daniels menu. That was your 9 11. The Jack <laughs> Daniels. Yeah, you're not kidding. <laughs> Every week. The Jack Daniels menu at Fridays made me know what was possible. <laughs> in a way, There's life outside of Long Island. Yeah, in a way that I couldn't understand. I was like, why yeah. is this so fucking good? I, don't I know what they put you, wanna, you wanna hear an order? This is my order of Fridays. You wanna get I'd go in there. I was as an adult or as a kid? As a child. Jesus. <laughs> this is what I used to do. <laughs> Listen, honey, get your pad and paper out and get over <laughs> here. Tostado, You're not remember all tostado this. nachos. Salad with, because I love the Friday salad because they loaded it with cheese, croutons, uh-huh. bacon. That shredded and, cheddar cheese. And then cheese. you get the breadsticks. Salad with ranch. Like a tostado nachos. Sandwich. Salad with ranch. Pulled pork sandwich that comes with french fries. Add on to that the loaded baked potato. Oh. Now, the loaded baked potatoes. What little kids get a loaded baked potato? <laughs> How's the divorce going, yeah. buddy? A smart. <laughs> Holy shit. A smart one, because here's what I would do. I would get the extra Jack Daniels sauce, and it would go right into the potato. <laughs> and then, like, you have this loaded baked potato with Jack Daniels sauce. It's still every now and then, if I'm on the road, I'll go into Friday's, get a loaded mash, throw some Jack Daniels sauce on there, and eat it. Jeez. What are your parents saying when you're, when you're making this order? They're kind of just fine with it. They're just like impressed that I can order. I'm like, you know, a lot of kids are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell them what you want. That kind of thing. You're speaking in French. A lot of kids are like, sure. You know, so at least you're like, he can talk. Uh huh. Yeah. You know. Uh. I'm like, are the tostada nachos? (laughs) Are they good today? Um, Who's cooking? But you know, the the answer to that is they were horrible parents. Yeah. (laughs) Well, I feel like the '90s, like that, was wide open. No, the 90s, listen. Nobody the, cared. The boomer, and I'm, I'm working on a book right now about boomers and the way they parented. And it's really, like, amazing to watch the difference between the way we were parented it's and crazy. the way kids are parenting oh, now. Oh, it's nuts. My parents might have said a few times, hey, you should go to college, but they took no interest. Like, the idea of, like, them, like, going around to schools and With being you like, for, like, the weekend. And, oh, yeah. wouldn't, won't you have fun here? You'll like it here. Like... They were such deeply selfish people that had no designs on me becoming a productive human being at all. <laughs> they were incredibly selfish, you know, um, you know, morally questionable 
demons from hell. <laughs> we basically were just sharing. Sounds like a nice little Saturday. Yeah. I like it. I mean, you know. You guys were like roommates. We were ro- We were just kind of like hanging out. Yeah. We're just hanging out. Mm-hmm. I get it. Oh, yeah, for sure. I remember even like thinking. I don't even think I went on visit. I went to. I visited one college, I think, by myself. Yeah. I used to smoke cigarettes in my grandmother's house yeah. when I was like 13, 14, just in the house. Did she know? They knew? She knew, yeah. I would smoke cigarettes in the house. They didn't care. They didn't Holy care. Shit. Yeah. That's fucking My bold. friend's mother used to let us do coke, weed, everything. Everybody's, My parents didn't do that. They hated drugs. Everybody's got that one friend's house. Yeah. Where you walk oh, yeah. in and you're like, oh. I, was, I remember sitting in some being like, I shouldn't fucking be here. Right. This is bad. Right. This is, this not, is not great. Yeah. And you're always thinking like, when are your parents coming home? Yeah. They just never and be around. And then they're home and they're yeah, like, they're they're upstairs. doing drugs with us. <laughs> and we're like, oh. <laughs> you guys got My a white friend's pie? mother was a prostitute. Really? And she made a lot of money in the really? 70s in a city high-end call girl. And bought a house and everything. Great, good looking. Like yeah. eh. she was uh-huh. then. Uh huh. She knew how to. She knew how to package the as goods. She said, "Clean the pipes." Uh. <laughs> Her words, not mine. <laughs> Over a white pie. I like yeah. It. All right, let's get into some cues here because we want to find yeah. out where you stand on a lot of stuff. Yeah, we. Yes. Yeah, you're gonna set. You, you know, we claim to be experts at it, but you, you can really set the tone or set I those. Can, I can. You hang. can lay the wall. Yeah, with certain things. Before that, though, what was your first stupid purchase when you got when you when, when you got money? What was the first a Range thing? Rover, and I sold it months later. Really? Because with the supply chain, you yeah. can sell it pretty easily. I just realized I'm like it was way too much money for a car. Um, and how was, long ago was this? This is somewhat recent. oh a year ago. Really? Yeah, and I just realized I'm like I don't care that much. Uh, immediately, you go, I don't care. Like I drive it for a while. It's nice, great fucking car. But then I go, eh, I don't need it. I'd yeah. rather have the money for other shit. What is it now? What are you whipping around in? Right now, I just have rentals, but I think I'm going to get an electric. Okay. I'm going really? to like an electric, a Rivian. Wow. One of those new ones. I, I got on a list for that. A list? A yeah. List. Damn. A list. Dude, he's in a different He's in a different category. No more Jack Daniels sauce for this kid. <laughs> I'll tell you that right well, now. Well, no, in the Rivian. Yeah, Jack he just Daniels goes quietly now. But it's, a, it's a, not that expensive. It'll be a lease that, that you know, you'll, you, you, uh, You'll pay the lease through your business. Of course. Smoke you know. in the car? Well, I mean, when you lease, you can't. <laughs> I like how that's what you're worried about. Yeah, like that's going to come Somebody back. Somebody at the Ford dealership yeah. coming after you. Well, I don't know. I mean, we're try- I'm trying to stop. I stop for months, and then I go back, and mm-hmm. then I start. Eat yeah, in the so. car. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, 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 you that's the Those baked potatoes answer. don't hold, that's all right? That's the best answer ever. I mean, you have to. I did it. It's yeah. my, my favorite thing. Is going to the drive thru with the radios on, listening to something, and I'm just fucking drive through food. If you eat it in your home, you feel insane. That's, I never <laughs> got that. I, I mean, pull up and park right away yeah, and eat absolutely. it. Absolutely. Right oh, away. Yeah. If you bring it to your house and un- like, unwrap yeah. it, put it on a plate, kitchen table, you're psychotic. Yeah, that's Have nuts. you ever seen McDonald's on a plate? That means people are way too comfortable. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you've settled in for this life of hell. Yeah, that's it not looks good. real weird. I've seen it, I've seen McDonald's on a plate. The only one you could get away with a little bit is KFC. Sure. That's it. Yeah. yeah. They it's sold bigger, that hard. Yeah. That's right. Bring it home to the family. Because it it's in bigger the portions, family. too. It's not I, in self-serve portions. I mean, I, man, KFC, honey barbecue wings, which they've discontinued. Uh, I mean, KFC was a beautiful part of my life. When they like started the fucking with dessert, when they were giving out whole cakes Well, they used with to have the something called a little bucket parfait. That unbelievable. There was, was strawberry unbe- and there was chocolate. And they were unbelievable. And the chocolate one had... It you guys had, ordered it off menu? What the fuck's going on here? It was unbelievable. I've never even heard of half of this shit. unbelievable. Is Sherry here? They got him in the back. It was unbelievable. It had a layer of, um, uh, like, a graham cracker. On the bottom. Then- Pudding and then a whipped cream and then a uh, the foil on top. Oh, the foil on top. Uh, the chocolate. I've never the chocolate come sprinkle, on. The chocolate sprinkle had just kind of like the dye of the sprinkle. It kind of started bled to out die, a little bit. Bled out a little bit and it bled out onto the whipped cream. That's the flavor. I have offered thousands of dollars <laughs> to get one of them, and I cannot. Like I would buy them. Like I've offered thousands of dollars for it. So if you There's have any leads, some sitting somewhere in a freezer I hope. or something. Hmm. Where do you stand on splitting the check? Where you at? On hate that? it. Hate it. Hate it. Okay. Hate it. So what do you do? What's the move? You get them the next time. Okay. You get them the next time. Okay. Now, for many years, I was the guy that got you the next time. I there was no it. next yeah. time. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was not going to be a Up next Up until about three weeks ago, I was that guy. My dad tells a great story about a guy who used to always get everyone at the office to go out for lunch. Let's go here for lunch. You want to go here for lunch? 
And then you get, you know, everybody would eat, and then the guy would go like this, go, I'm a little light. <laughs> and then everyone would pay for the guy, and the guy just kept getting away with it. I'm a little light is such a dirtbag lie. Oh, yeah, goes, man. I'm a little light. Trying to save a little bit of, I'm a little bit light. I'm a little light. I got light. about eight bucks, a little light. What a great line. I'm a little, a little light, light is fantastic. That's the yikes. Uh, all right. Do you think appetizers should be ordered individually, or should they be ordered for the table For and the table and shared. They okay. should never be ordered individually. Do you think it's trashy if multiple people at the same table order the same dish i would like, go this far okay i almost think at a steakhouse there should be a little meeting up front and then one person should order for the whole table we just did that yeah just have a meeting we just up did front. that just have a meeting have a little meeting what do you like you're medium rare you're this you're that you're rare you're medium we'll, we'll compromise it medium rare what do we do it's just a family style thing let's one guy come here here are the apps we want here are the entrees we want it is not an individual thing. I think you order steak for the table, sides for the table. Yes. That, to me, is the steakhouse experience. Timmy D. That's what I believe. Kids are That's right. what I believe. And, Kids are and, right. Yeah. You know, and so that's what you, I was taught. If you go out to dinner, if, you, if you're bringing your friends out to dinner, it's Tim's dinner. Yeah. Are you, are you you're leading that charge? You're handling it? I'm usually leading the charge because my friend, get, letting my friends order would be like giving them ape the Constitution <laughs> and telling them the fashion of effective government. Like, <laughs> my friends are idiots and they all mispronounce words uh, and they don't know yeah. anything. And mm -hmm. They're Googling shit. Yeah. I like it when you do when you do a steakhouse. You got to start with the shellfish tower if you can. If people cold are seafood that. tower. Cold seafood tower. Gentlemen, That's for, first thing to hit the table is a cold seafood tower. First thing, boom, boom, oyster, shrimp, lobster, crab, little clams, whatever. That's out. Cold appetizers are done. Oh, he's got <laughs> fucking cooking. Over then here. you bring in the hot appetizers if you're going to do any of them. Maybe it's a warm goat cheese salad. Maybe it's a lobster bisque. It's not my business what you do. <laughs> 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 maybe it's a baked clams. Maybe it's a shrimp scampi. Whatever it is, it's, maybe it's a gorgonzola bread, a garlic bread with gorgonzola cheese sauce. Yeah, a little bit. But there's got to be a little hot appetizer. Yes, actually, just a little, a little nibble. Then there's a salad for the table. Then you hit the porterhouse for two, three, four, whatever. The au gratin, the line eight, whatever you want to do. Cream spinach, cream spinach, broccoli, garlic, and oil, mm -hmm. asparagus, whatever. How's that steak cooked? I like rare, but on certain cuts, I'll go medium rare. Wow, you're a rare I'm man. I'm a rare guy, yeah. Sometimes I'll do a medium Can't rare. Can't teach that. Nope. Sometimes I'll do a medium rare if it's a ribeye. The fattier a steak, the longer it should be cooked. So if you do a ribeye steak, really should be medium rare. A filet or anything like that is rare to black and blue. Sushi grade. Um, Damn. But a, wow. a bone in New York strip. Usually rare plus. That's the term. You go rare plus. Yeah. Uh, Meaning rare, but a little more than rare. Smidge. If you're doing a, a bone-in strip, anything with a bone, you're going to do rare plus. Ribeyes, medium rare. Anything strip steaks, fillets, rare. To black and blue, Pittsburgh style, which is sushi. <sighs> fucking laying it down. Hope everyone's fucking taking notes out there. Take yeah. notes. Jesus. I was just in the Philippines three weeks ago. Nice. Right, and you can't drink that water. Yeah. You get diarrhea. But, yeah. um... How was the food? Good? Well, I had balut. You did? You know what it is? No. Do you know what balut is? Mm -mm. Look it up. I don't even know how to spell it. B-A-L-U-T. I don't think it's pizza. It's not. Look Street food. Believe uh, uh, Fertilized look, 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 look developing at, egg embryo. Look at the photo. Look at the photos. Look at the photos. Look at the images. Go to, go to uh, images. I can see them, Bobby. Go to Those other photos. Those just other a picture photos. of Bobby with two thumbs up. Look at that. That's a bird. Jesus. All right. So what they do is they'll boil uh. a duck egg, right? Maybe. Two days before it hatches. it hatches. That's a hatchable egg. Right. And so it's, it's, you eat that. So I had one. How was that? Well, uh, well when you, when you, so that. when you crunch down on the skull, the brain squirts in your mouth, and then you get the feather stuck between your teeth. But other than that, it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Little soy sauce, you're all right. Yeah, yeah. It literally uh, is. I can't believe it. So, like, yeah, that's what you is eat. Is that your first time having it? Yeah. I, I, yeah, because I known about, you know, the. So it wasn't good. Well, honestly, if I closed my eyes and I just ate it, I'd just be like, oh, is this egg? But like, you know what I mean? With more chunkiness, yeah, you know what I mean? Skull. To it, you know? God damn. But when you, when you have eyeballs, <laughs> right? Like this and thing you, did. Yeah, and you look at it, it's just like, it's weird because the eyes are there and it looks at you like, uh, you know, two days, buddy. 
What like, about Lumpy? I had two like, days. Like Ming was looking at you. Yeah, all right. What yeah. about Lumpy or Taro? I had that too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had right. that too. But um, Are you an adventurous eater? Like, will you do the wacky kind of what stuff? What are you talking about? Just, maybe that was just, maybe you lost a bet. I don't He's know. eating fetus <laughs> over <laughs> here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever been in a focus group? No, 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 no. no. But I've been like, um, but I've been like the subject of focus groups. Sure. Why? On the shows and stuff. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, you have to do, um, you have to test. Like they test it. Of course, right? And they do focus groups. And you know what I love about being like, like with the way I look and I have a round flat face, you know what I mean? And I kind of look like, if you don't know my history, like, you know, I, I like if you know what I mean, like mm-hmm. you know, like oh my god, you know, he's what I mean? adorable. He's adorable. Yeah. He looks like he looks like an emoji, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so I love getting on a sitcom because I know I'm gonna test high, right? So it's like I always get like I did this uh, one show where they were like, yeah, you tested higher than babies and monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> and Are I you got, a baby monkey? <laughs> and and I'm like, I'm like that's good, right? Like like. It's unbelievable. Like, <laughs> like they don't have like a meter to even like sure. go there. That's right? awesome. It's Guy's awesome, the right? So it's like, and then they're always like, you know, um, they pick it up because like we got like, you know, a baby yeah. monkey on the yeah, show. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> we, have the, we have the this cutest is, man alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why I like Ken Jung probably does baby monkey numbers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> baby, baby monkey yeah, numbers. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, so you go out to a restaurant with the with friends, right? Say you and Santino or so going mm. out to a, a, a nice din din. I have a thing. Who's picking up that check? Well, Santino, um, and I'm going to say that I'm going to start a war, and he's going to be so mad. But he, I'm beginning to think. Let's. Uh, I, I, he disappeared. Uh, I want to say <laughs> that the last meals he disappears. Really? So right before the check appears, he goes, "I got a golf thing," or you know what I mean? Oh shit, I got to go to Dave. It's like you didn't say you were going to shoot today, mm-hmm. right? There's something, and then he leaves, and then the check comes, and it's happened for the last eight times, ooh, and I, and I, ooh. I've never said it out loud before. I don't know if that's gonna start something with him. He's paid before, I remember. Recall, I'm sure, I'm sure, yes. you know, But the last, couple, he's a nice guy, he's really great. Guy, I love dude. him, very talented guy. But the last couple has been a little suspect. But you know, I'm gonna wait for the next meal, see what happens. You know, mm-hmm. okay. and they, they're and they're, let me say the last one was m- Maestro's. Have you ever heard of no. Maestro's? It's a very expensive restaurant chain. I think I spent. I'll just tell you what I spent because it was with Please do. the producer Andrew and a girl uh, named Jetski, who's like a sidekick on Bad Friends. Very talented girl. She had never been to a fancy restaurant, so we took to Maestro's, and I, I think I dropped seven hundred and fifty dollars, and he left. Really? Right. And it kind of, you know, it kind of irked me a bit. You know uh-huh. what I mean? I'm now expressing that. And don't edit that out. I want to see what that happens for our relationship. <laughs> edit that out. It's a clip. What are yeah. you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to see what that happens okay. for our relationship. I got to say, but he's not cheap. He's been, he saved my life a bunch of times. And sure, I love no, him. Yeah, Keep this in the clip, too. Keep this in the clip, too. He's a great guy, right? But I'm just saying, last couple of times, that's all. I mean, I, I, I got to say this. I gotta call ball. I love you. I gotta call brawls and strikes yeah. here. Seven hundred and fifty bucks. We dropped that. Yeah, you gotta be dropping. Yeah, are you more than kidding me? An expensive I know your meal. I know a nice restaurant. You think I should be paying for it? Um, yeah. I, that, that's a haircut to you guys. <laughs> Who gives a shit? That's getting coffee. You come in here, all that. That's what you hit me with. Seven fifty. I got Tom Segura back here with a fifty-two thousand dollar check, not including wait, the wait, dip. Wait, 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 wait. That's his check. That's yeah. what he spent on his uh, his birthday dinner. Seven fifty. I, I got that I, on so me. I, here. Th- bro, bro. I'll pay it for Santino. No, 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 no. Andy, I got uh, you, kid. Right, so here's the deal about Tom Segura, right? Can I say something about Tom Segura? Have you had him on here? We have. That was of that's course. him. He wrote that. that Greatest guy, right? Love him. Love him. The Greatest death. guy in the world. But you know, it's like I, I, I never did seen him do stand up ever. Mm-hmm. I never seen him at the club or nothing, right? And I don't watch anybody. You know what I mean? I don't know what anyone's doing. He murders. He's one of the best I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. he kills. Yeah, I mean, he's one of the best, and that's not what I'm saying. Yeah. Let me follow this <laughs> logic. Follow this logic, right? Yeah. So he's just like. He's like, yeah, you want to do shows with me in Canada? This is w- last week. This- I saw you were, yeah, you guys that, were yeah, that's there, right. Yeah. So I'm like, oh shit, that's right. And I yeah. show up, and it's like stadiums. Yeah, <laughs> he, ain't, he ain't doing the fucking yuck yucks. Like, I was like, you did this? Yeah. 
He's I mean, huge. He's I great. Play, like I still play like fucking. You know what I mean? Wise guys and. Sure. You know Shout what I mean? out. We were just there. great club, right? It. Yeah. I'll do the con- you know uh, the Denver Comedy Works. <laughs> great club. Great clubs. But he's like a st- like he's you too. Yeah. Boss of or bosses. Or Coldplay. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's You're right. Principally, seven hundred fifty. I should just eat that. Seven fifty. You're right. You're right. I fucked up. Right. But here's a little thing. You're talking about flying first class. You're still on pillows and complaining about seven fifty at a dinner Jesus for a Christ. team. But here's the deal, trash. My, my. He spends out at McDonald's. <laughs> And I will again. Yeah, yeah. Why is like the smell of gas garbage? I it is. It. I don't think the I, I Kennedys are doing it. No. You know. <laughs> gas. My favorite is asphalt. Fresh asphalt in the summer. No way. Ooh. Asphalt's better than gas. Oh, that takes me back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No way. That yeah. and the tar. Yeah. No, you're tar out of your mind. Good. Tar's, Tar's all right. Great. Tar's good. Tar's okay, maybe. But <laughs> gas is yeah. primo. I just think about that scene in Shawshank when they're up there and that that hot tar and the beer. It's like very. Oh uh, yeah. Ooh. I can the, the the smell in that cold beer fucking hits me. Yeah. That beer looks like it fucking hit the spot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you drink? If you have a drink, what's your drink? You're I like, like winding down. Red wine. Red wine? Yeah, and whiskey. I like scotch, good scotch. Okay. Good. And I like beer, but I don't drink much. Okay. But those are the three things I like. Very cold beer. I assume you've had a couple nice French wine. wine. Yeah, I've had, I've had some very good French wine. Like, I go crazy for, like, a very good French How wine. How expensive we talk? Yeah, what's the here? most expensive bottle of wine you ever bought? Oh, sh- a lot. 2000 3000 Something like that, yeah. Oh, wow. Shit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it has been a long time since I've done that. Uh-huh. Okay. I live very differently than I used to. I used to have gold watches and shit. <laughs> oh, God, I sold that's a all. sweet shark watch. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's, yeah. Does that go that's, underwater, Louie? Yeah, yeah. That's pleather. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I don't do stuff like that no more. But I used to go like, let's get to bed this shit, you know, crazy sure, wine. Sure, of course. And once in a while, I buy a have uh, you know heavy bottle of scotch, like a really good a good scotch, yeah, and yeah. I keep that for a long. I don't. I, it'll keep it for months. Just sip on it. Yeah. Nice yeah. bottle of Yellowtail these days. <laughs> that's, right, that's, right, that's, right. that's right. I'll take your finest box you have back there, please. Yeah. Um, what if you're going to dinner, you know, at a friend's house, mm-hmm. uh, and you're bringing a bottle of wine? Do you have like yeah. a go-to? What's what? Are, what are you? What are you spending around there? Uh, Anything? It, it depends on the friend, right? This is what we get into. Yeah. Yeah. There's you got the. The wine that oh, was brought this. to you last. <laughs> <laughs> just put, oh, you're just regifting. Just regift the uh-huh. last one that brought to you. Uh, that's a power. Show I never with thought a toaster. Of that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Three if anybody lights. brings me wine, I ain't drinking it. Let's, really? let's say I'm not. It's not going to be what I like. So I just hold on to that until next time. I. Wow. That's re- I. No one's ever had that answer. That's really smart. Yeah, you got to do that. Let's and say Martin, Scors- Martin Scors- says he watches the movie. He sees Fourth of July. He says it's fantastic. H- I want to discuss Joe. how you guys came up with it, how yeah. how you worked with someone like Joe Liss, how good he was. <laughs> Come over to my house. I want to discuss how you got this performance out of this guy. Yeah. What do you bring in there? I That's mean, a different I mean, I bring a, 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 him or somebody I just really like. And feel or feel grateful to somebody, you know what I mean, like that, like somebody who I'm like really want to wow, like get impressed, a, a yeah. Lynch bag, uh, 2005 if you can find it, 2006 if you can only find it, 2006. Lynch and bag, those, Lynch, it's French. Oh. It's um, L Y N C H and then B A G G E S. I don't mm. have Lynch bag. I don't know yeah. how the fuck uh. to say it. Lynch bag. Yeah. That's the <laughs> fucking Boston part. coming out. They got you a lynch bag. Uh, let me get a 2022 lynch <laughs> yeah. bag. But that's about two to $400 that's, that's okay. a, for a that's bottle. That's a flex, yeah. Uh, or any kind of like uh, Margot's are good. Okay. San Julian kind of things. Mm-hmm. Sure. Any of those uh, in the range of two to $400. Margot's are nice. A Rude Margot's Julian. <laughs> yeah. What do you like red wise? You a Cabernet guy? You a Melbeck guy? What do you like? Only those Bordeaux. I just really into French Bordeaux. Really? I can get it. I, I was just in uh, Copenhagen on tour, and our our um, promoter, he's obsessed with restaurants. He's been to all the best restaurants in the world. He's one of these guys. Sure. Mm-hmm. He'll wait months to go somewhere or whatever. So he told me Copenhagen is his favorite city for restaurants, and that he was sending me to the, the best. best. of the, So it's his favorite place. And I did a, t- a pairing, you know. You get a tasting menu with sure. wine pairings. And they introduced me to uh, um, natural wine. This is a new thing. Yes, very new. Yeah. So they start you with the white wine. With a, for, they start you with a champagne and then white. And then it gets like literally those orange wines. And then you get deeper red as you the meal goes on. Hmm. And they're cloudy. And they're not, there's no filtering. They're not like refined no, or anything. Nothing. Yeah. It's just it's like the you grape. taste the earth in it. It's yeah. just, yes, you can really, and I, that's what I like about wine is being able to taste, like I feel like I could taste the weather when it was, and the, the soil. 
So these things, holy shit. And there's a gamey, like almost rotten smell to them. Like pussy. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but the wines get And at one point I was like, I'm getting, like I trusted them. And I'm like, do people? What do people do to not get drunk? And they go, No, you get drunk. That's yeah, that's, that's the point. Like, yeah, really? you're fucked up. And I had to, I had to walk along the buildings. Of the, I mean, I barely made it back to the hotel. <laughs> really, you were that fucked. I was blind. Was I almost? I've never blacked out drunk. Yeah, I never they're serving drank. you fucking I Copenhagen like, fucking moonshine. Yes, yeah. like, yeah. like Sharon insane. Stone in Casino. Yeah, House yeah. <laughs> of the Rising Suns play. Yeah, that's like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's how I felt. <laughs> and it was a bad day the next day. You do ice in the wine. No, Excellent. crazy! <laughs> I knew that Jesus. was gonna piss you off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, how many suits do you own? Uh, a lot, but I don't wear them anymore. I had one tour where I wore oh, suits. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got the because I I can't. I wear a suit, and in ten minutes, I look like a disheveled, <laughs> a, a bad accountant. Yeah, or like a guy yeah. who's had a nervous break. Sure, yeah. I'm the same way. <laughs> I put That's on how a suit. They fit me. The second I get into a car or sit yeah. down, yeah. it's fucking over. The shirt over. comes up and out. Oh, it's horrible. And the yeah. pants are down to you my balls. You look like balls. a kid at his communion party. Yeah. It's horrible. <laughs> like a fat kid at the end of a wedding. Yeah. That's yeah. right. <laughs> fucking cake on your face. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> but when Brutal. I was I was in San Francisco with my daughter, and we went to a thrift store, and she found a suit that it was like really cool and uh-huh. almost fit. So I found a tailor in San Francisco. I'd never even been to one. And I said, can you fit Do this, this to yeah. me? And he said, yeah, by the way, I can make you suits. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can get yeah. one, just get whatever you want. And he wasn't expensive, but he was, uh, Peter Panos is his name. And I, I picked, just that day, I picked a bunch. Cool. I decided it that day, I'm going to wear suits. You're going to be a suit guy. I'm going to wear suits. I always want, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a comedian in suits. Sure. And uh, so I had a bunch of shirts and suits made by that guy, like eight of them. And uh, he sent them. I wore them a whole, for a whole tour of war suits. Hmm. And, yeah. But I'm done with it. I'm not going to do it again. Any Armani or anything like that you got at the house? Uh, like from a couple of movies I was in that they let me keep the suits. Sure. Nice. You own a tux? I do own a tux because I used to go to award shows every, all the time. Sure. Yeah. Nice. Yes. You know how to tie a bow tie? Uh, yeah, I could. I used. I did it a few times. I'd, I'd need a refresher. It's tough, yeah. I don't it's know hard. how to tie a regular tie. Really? Is yeah. that garbage? I don't think you have a tux, <laughs> Mister List. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I got uh, two suits. <laughs> nice suits, right? Ted Baker, Very, right? Ted Baker, Ted Baker, baby. Important. I just got Very a Ted nice. Baker bag. I love. Hey, it. yeah, he's good all right. Good stuff, Ted Baker. Yeah. But I remember hearing Thanks you talk about. It. I thought it was somebody you knew. I thought he was like a fan <laughs> or something. That's how trashy I was. No, Ted Baker. You know Ted Baker kid. <laughs> I remember when Ted Baker was. I don't know how long he's been around, but I think he was a new thing. Uh huh. And I was with Chris Rock at, in Aspen, Colorado. At a festival, and there was like a lot of people. There was a lot of um, uh, activity. People were excited. A lot of famous people there. Mm-hmm. And Chris was huge, and I was nothing at the time. And uh, somebody came up to us with a headset and just said, "Get in this van. We're taking everybody to, and we're just talking." So we just let ourselves be put in a van. Anyway, next thing we know, we're in a Ted Baker store. And they had closed the store for Chris, really? and they said, "Pick whatever you want, and it's yours." And Chris is a high class, classy guy. And he said, just, he said to the girl, you pick me one shirt. You pick it for me. Like, nice. that's the kind of guy he is. Louis going and to the I cash was like, register. I was like, <laughs> no, I went to the leather jackets. I said, I want one of these. Yeah. And they're like, um, are you Chris Rock, sir? <laughs> they had to unlock it. It had a lock on it. Oh, I was like, yeah. I want one of these. Because I was like, I'm never going to be in here. Chris, <laughs> Chris is trying to maintain this lifestyle. I was like, this is Burn my it last to the ground. time this yeah, is yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. Here you so go, I, I still caveat. have it. It's a really good leather jacket. Mm-hmm. That's fucking wild. Did you do Hands Across America? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Was you cooked eggs in the microwave? You actively cook eggs in the microwave. Not only that, you bought... A poaching device a apparatus. A target. A to- a to- that's a double. That's a triple. That's a triple stamp. Yeah. A yeah. double stamp. The device, the target, target, and, and the action. Mm-hmm. And the action of microwaving eggs in an apparatus. You're poaching eggs, which should be the classiest version. A poached egg is the classiest egg. But it's you're the doing hardest it the to do. And you did it right, but you didn't. And you laughed at me when I told you the procedure to cook the poached egg. What is it? You pull it out with one of those like. One of those nets at the end, but you heat up. A, you heat up uh, about three inches of boil of water. You let it boil. You turn it off. You drop the egg in there from a separate cylinder. You spin the water before you put it in there, so He's it collects together. That. And you put a dash of vinegar in there. Th- uh, that's class. Yeah. It, it, you don't do that. You no, microwave plastic. Yeah. It's been a. 
You bought the it's Billy, you bought the Billy safe. Mays egg cooker. Microwave safe from Target. <laughs> it's been a long time. This is something I did in my poor days. Although okay. I, I, there was no, I was at Target. It's an impulse buy. God damn it, you guys got me fucking. This is the question. You know who I wasn't say. at Target making impulse buys? The fucking Kennedys, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I hate him. I hate him. It is a brown egg, though. <laughs> that it's is an classic. organic. That's organic. That's organic. Free egg. Range. <laughs> there isn't a more fun guy. Uh, He's disgusting. Fu- <laughs> All right, breaking the fourth wall. He walked in a suit and I fucking jumped up. I'm like, this guy's fucking came to play. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I can cross you every eating a hard boiled egg in public <laughs> off the list. <laughs> On camera, we should have. Good add. God. <laughs> Oh, uh, um, you stink. I have no not microwaved eggs either. in a long, long time. Okay. And in fact, my mom recently Who? said, my sister, excuse me, said, uh, uh, corn in the microwave is actually oh, as good as on the grill. Oh, and I said, I said, no, it's not, and I won't eat it. Corn on the grill or nothing. Corn on the microwave is okay. Ugh. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, you ate that like a fucking <laughs> Komodo like a, dragon. You ate it like a snake, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like a bald Jewish snake. Oh, God. Oh, that smells like a fucking 1992 Honda Civic. It's brutal. <laughs> What's worse than a smell you don't smell? <laughs> oh, God, that stinks, man. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Come on. Oh, you just spit it all over my computer, dude. Ah! <laughs> we got to move, man. <laughs> Oh, dude, uh, I'm throwing that computer away. God. Oh, it stinks oh, God, so it bad. It stinks, dude. man. Uh, I'm going to start doing that when I fart. I'm going to whip out a hard-boiled egg. You made me laugh. You shake your pants. No, no, no. It's the eggs. Oh, disgusting. Oh, I got it. There's one. Oh, my God. Mr. Shafir. <laughs> Ari also <laughs> likes the chili cheese machine at 7-Eleven. <laughs> Big fan of it, if I recall. Oh, uh, yeah, I did like it. It's been mm-hmm. a while. Oh, man, that's it's been a so while. bad, Ari. Damn, that chili cheese was good. I haven't uh, had it so long. Now I'm starting to think maybe I am. You are trash, dude. I don't. <laughs> You're for sure, John. It's all over my screen. <laughs> Sorry, <I didn't... laughs> it looks like someone egged me. <laughs> With a hard-boiled egg. <laughs> Take that, you fucker. Uh, That's great. (laughs) Sorry. No, it's good. You're good. Oh, my God. (laughs)